I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw me in the family, credit cards in the scams, getting no licks in the band. Hello everyone, this is DJ Blink Blake. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's second tutorial, tutorial number two, is all about analyzing your tracks or songs in Serato DJ. So the first tutorial we did, the link is below within this um, upload, and we discussed about how you can edit your beat grid on Serato DJ, and also how you can count beats as a DJ. So if you want to have a view of that, click on the link below, you will see it there and be able to watch it. Now with this one today, it's just all about analyzing files. So if you look on Serato DJ, which is what you have on the screen here, there's a button here that says Analyze Files. Right beside it, there is a setting menu. When you click on it, it comes up with Set Key, which is the key for the song, Set Beat Grid slash BPM, which is beat per minute, and the BPM range you want, either known or within specific figures. Now, if you decide, for example, maybe the songs you want to analyze, you want them to fall within the range of 78 to maybe like maximum BPM of 155, you click on this, you drop the songs and analyze files, and then it will set the range within that section. Now, what you need to know is this. This button here, Analyze Entire Library, you only use that if you want to analyze all the songs within your library. So let's imagine you have some set of songs, you know, new laptop, new songs. When you click on that, it will analyze everything. Now, you got to be careful because if you click that now, all the songs you've analyzed before, all your bit grid is just going to mess everything up. So what we're going to do now is we leave it at none, which is what I do. And if you pick up one song, all right, and you drop it on analyze files, let's pick this one here. You see it's reading all the way, it's reading all the way, and then it's like now, and that's it. So we have a key. So the key, the BPA system will do it. If you want to select multiple tracks on the map, which is what I'm using, you press on Command A, A for Alpha, you lift it, and then you drop it, and then that it starts to analyze. Now, one thing you also need to remember is if you want to analyze your files in Serato DJ, you can't connect your controller. If your controller is connected to your Mac or Windows laptop at that point in time, the button here for analyze files, you won't find it there. It will be gone. We'll give it a try now, you see. So now we can see the analyze file. The menu is there, you can see it there. So, which is right here, as you can see. So what I'll do is I'll connect my controller. You can see it's coming up with DGJ SZ hardware connecting, and that's it, it's gone. You can't find it there again. So you can't analyze your files when the controller is connected. But if you remove it again now, it's out. It's going to come up, you can see it, analyze files. So, yeah, that's it. That's a summary of how you can analyze your files and songs on Serato DJ. The important things, or what should I say, the important of analyzing your files is if there's any corruption or anything within your file, it's going to come up with a question mark here, and then you can delete the song. And also, it helps you to set your BPM, you know, the range, everything. It just makes life very easy for you. So, yeah, that's DJ Bring Me. Signing out, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below, like my video, subscribe to my channel. That's me signing out. Cheers!